everybody! So it's January. January is a time of new beginnings, fresh starts, being able to do things, I guess, that you wanted to achieve. It's just like a fresh slate, I guess. People take this opportunity to do things like quit smoking, get fit, be more productive. I don't know. Personally, I don't really see January as like the only time to do that. So for me, this isn't just because it's New Year, it's just a thing. But I thought I'd use this time as an opportunity to kind of get you guys who are with me on this one together and we can do it together. So over the Christmas holes, probably not the only one here, I completely threw health out the window and I consumed everything in sight. I stopped going to the gym, I just became a... I became Jabba the Hutt pretty much. I put on some weight and I want to get rid of that weight and I just want to be go back into being healthy and having a healthy routine and being a little bit more body happy. All I can say is that I feel a bit at the minute. I let myself go and I don't really feel that good and healthy. So I just want to get back into a healthy state like streak. Food wise, I'm probably just gonna stop A, eating chocolate for breakfast, um, B, stop eating everything I see, and C, stop just sitting and get up and do stuff. I'm just gonna make a few lifestyle changes and food changes that will make a big difference. I did it before, I can do it again, and it's easy if you put your mind to it, and easy if you don't think it's a big deal. So I thought, oh, I wanna go back to the gym, I wanna get excited, so I did a little shot and I've got some gym bits and I'm just gonna show you though this is kind of like my health haul I've even put my hair in a ponytail to, to give off the, 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 the exercise vibes oh. so I'm gonna start with the trainers I went to my local Nike store and I bought some Nikes and they look like these and they are flexi Nikes so they've got like an interesting bottom and they're flexy and they're so comfortable and I got them in black and a nice berry colour because I thought that they would go with lots of different things and I just thought that the colours were really really nice. The Nike shop that's near mine is like a discount one so these were £30 and most of the Nikes in there are discounted anyway. Now the rest of the stuff that I bought was actually from Primark. Now I know buying new fitness stuff is important but really we don't really want to spend that much money on something that we're only going to wear in the gym unless of course fitness and sport is a hobby of yours and it's more than just going to the gym. So I went I went to Primark and I picked up some right bargains and I'm just going to show you what I got. First up I saw these little trousers and they're really really snazzy. They've just got this weird, I don't know, it's almost like water marble effect and then they've got their light, light bright green in it. It's got a little pocket, oh, which you get from the inside. Yeah, so I thought they were pretty snazual, a um, <laughs> little bit more interesting than normal and again. Primark, so they don't cost a lot of money. Little vest, little vest here with a little lady running on it and there's a gap here. I think that that's for something. MP3 pocket, fast absorb, quick dry, double layer support so my boobies won't go everywhere. But there's that little top there. Then I've got some long plain trousers, which again, as you'll see, they're just long and they're, they're all that kind of stretchy material, so they will be quite skin tight. These have got a tight thing around the ankles, so I guess that they're my, more secure. And on the bum area, there is a pocket, again, for probably anything, maybe your phone, your MP3 player, um, anything like that, which would come very handy, so you can see. I've got another vest which is basically just a grey one. It's just grey, got some nice things. This is a fast absorb one as well, so if you're sweaty better, you don't have to look really sweaty when you're at the gym. You're already there trying hard. You don't want to lose. You don't want to be like, I'm sweaty, I'm so sorry. Next is um, another vest top, and a bunch of these were in the sale, actually. So if you are, like, near to a Primark, they currently do have a rail of all their fitnessy things for £3. And I picked up this, which I thought was awesome. This is my actually favourite vest, but it was £3, and it's tropical. Palm trees, yo, bruv. That looks just, that's just so cool. These ones were also in the £3 sale. They're kind of funky, I think. Um, they have, they're just long black trousers again, like running -y kind of thing. White panels down the side and like a pink bit as well. I think they're just quite groovy and snazzy. These were three pounds and they're little snazzy trousers too. No, these are five pounds. These are five pounds 
And these are some more snazzy, like, jolly bottoms. These are three quarter lengths, though, so, and I get the feeling they've got a harem thing going on because the crotch is quite low. So they'll be really, like, baggy. I could do yoga in these if I start doing yoga. They kind of look, like, cool. Huh. Ooh! God, I bought a lot, didn't I? I bought a hoodie to, just to wear on top of everything when I'm, you know, going in and out or if I fancy going for a run and in the street. I don't really have many of these things, so I just bought that to keep my, myself warm if I'm going on a cold workout. Some plain jogging bottoms. These don't necessarily actually have to be worn at the gym. I like wearing this sort of stuff around the house anyway, just because it keeps me comfy. But these could be worn for a workout. Uh, and again, this top is a simple, basic vest top which is quite long so if I do find myself working out and I'm wearing leggings at least these will cover my butt and it's just a plain vest which is a little, you know a bit longer than your normal kind of vest the reason why I guess I got so much is because well I, I intend to go to the gym like quite frequently like nearly every day I don't want to have to kind of put sweaty clothes back on and because I, I am a little bit fed up of having to wear my own clothes to the gym the next thing I'm going to show you which is going to be so helpful for my pre-gym workout or afterwards I did feature this in what I got for Christmas video but I'll show you it in more detail Breville smoothie machine so yeah you, you get given two of these flasks then you're given a base and so what you do you take the lid off and then you screw this one on so your thing is in fact actually upside down so all the fruit in the top and then you put the top on and then you screw it onto the base and you lock it in place and then you go and then obviously you screw it back off upside down again put the flask lid on and you're good to go there's a bunch of apps on the iPhone that can give you some really good smoothie um, recipes. I hope that that was enjoyable for you all. If you guys are in the same boat as me and want to shed a few pounds, comment below. We can have a discussion on tips and tricks and motivational things. I know right, weight loss is one of those. Oh. Um, it's really good when you're all kind of doing it together. We can talk about ideas, things that have worked. I'm not interested in fad diets because they just don't interest me. So anything you want to share, either write below, tweet me, and if you are to striving to change something about yourself in 2015 then good luck and remember it's not just a fad a new year's resolution it's a life change this is an opportunity a door has opened and you must go through thanks everyone for watching see you later it is insane in the membrane. Look all those fantastic colours. I'm even going to be doing a video soon on looks with this. I've been practicing, I've been using it. And